June 25th through the 26th. And uh, there's nothing for the 27th through the 29th. Today's the 29th of July, so uh, there's only a few that we're going to be discussing today. So I want to get right into it with you. And I hope all is well. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Make sure your notification bell is on so you know when my next video is. And we will go ahead and get started. There are, um, I think, four that we're dealing with with salmonella. There's some with salmonella, foreign matter, and peanut allergy. Goodness gracious. So let's get into it, shall we? Okay, so Premium Foods is recalling the Cell Your Forms products produced without benefit of import inspection. So what does that mean? Let's look into this a little bit further here. And this is from the USDA, which is only one recall. Well, actually, there's two recalls in the USDA, and then there's two with the FDA. Um, Premium Foods at the United States, Woodside, New York, established an uh, establishment and imported of record is recalling approximately 76,000 pounds of various, I'm probably saying this wrong, uh, siluiforms fish products that were not presented for import reinspection into the United States. So the products were imported from Bangladesh and Myanmar countries. They were ineligible for export into the United States. So they were already um, shipped to locations in Colorado, Connecticut, Florida, Georgia, Illinois, Michigan, New Jersey, New York, and Pennsylvania. So there has been no confirmed cases of any reactions um, and this was brought up by the routine um, food and safety inspection services. They surveillanced activity on imported products and found this error. Now they're calling this a high risk um, class one recall. And so let's go ahead and look at the uh, packaging, shall we? Now there's a lot of them, so um, let me go back up to the very beginning here. Okay, so there's totally so many different fishes that are being recalled from Bangladesh and Myanmar. So if you do buy this type of fish, and so it says right here, long whiskered fish, and this is the packaging, and then wow Lego, and that type of packaging. So there's so many different, see yellow, yellow tail catfish. They're all in the same type of packaging. Freshwater fish. This one again is freshwater fish, freshwater fish. And bees, you can't tell the packaging, but you could tell it's the same exact one as that one. It's freshwater, uh, freshwater fish. Catfish, there's tons of different freshwater fishes that um, the import was not, um, freshwater fish was not valid. This one's from the Philippines. Okay, and that's it on that one. Now we'll go back here and they are consumed, uh, concerned that there might be some in the freezers. Uh, you can go ahead and um, contact where you purchased it from for a full refund. And you can also contact um, the manager at Premium Foods 
and they do not have a phone number, but it says that if you have any questions, contact uh, K.M. Crowdbury, which is a manager of Premium Foods. And here's the uh, email address, info at premiumfoods.us. And this is considered class one, which is this is a health hazard situation where there is reasonable probability that the use of the product will cause serious adverse health consequences or death. So they're taking this very seriously. And again, it is for the premium foods in the United States, Woodside, New York. Um, their cell forms fish products. All right, so the next USDA is from Kent Quality Foods recalls ready-to-eat sausage products due to foreign matter contamination. They're recalling 48,681 pounds of ready-to-eat Polish sausage with beef products that may contain an extraneous material, especially pieces of flexible pink rubber. Wow. So let's look at the label here. And... Tet, tet, Teton Waters Ranch. So this is the packaging of the sausage. Cooked, uncured Polish sausage made with beef. All right. And it says that it's 36 ounce packages containing three 12 ounce individual wrapped pieces of Teton Waters Ranch cooked, uncured, polished sausage made with beef. And the used by or freeze by date is September 16, 2019. And the establishment number is EST 5694. And it should be on the package. Now, it was only shipped to retail locations in California and Utah. So those are the only two states that are affected. Now, it's saying that the problem was discovered when the firm received two complaints of extraneous material from retailers on July 17th and July 18th. There are no confirmed reports of adverse reactions. Um, they are concerned that they're in um, consumers' refrigerators. So if you do have those in your refrigerators, go ahead and dispose of them. Or if you want to go get a refund, take it back for your refund. You can contact Jim uh, Zubkus at Kent Quality, which is the Vice President of Sales. And here is the phone number right there, 616-459-4595. And I do not know, I didn't check up here. They are considering this a class one recall, which is high risk again. This is a health hazard situation where there is a reasonable probability that the use of the product will cause serious adverse health consequences or death. So this is the classification that the USDA is given that. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to the FDA. And the FDA, uh, we're doing uh, Williams Foods initiates a volunteer recall of taco seasoning product due to possible presence of salmonella. And there's two different um, brands that they're going under with this, which great value, and that is Walmart and HEB. And this was on the 25th. So here are the information here, the UPC codes, the packagings, and the product name and the item number. Now, if you have, have that in your uh, pantries, make sure you take those back. And... Um, they produced a sample that was tested. Um, one of the mincings, the spice company, customers, and was found to be potentially contaminated with salmonella. And so that's why they're doing a voluntary recall. And here is the symptoms of salmonella. And they're saying that it caused serious and sometimes fatal infection in young children, frail and elderly people and others with a weakened health uh, immune system. And so the potential affected products consist of retail packages weighing from one to 1.25 ounces. And look at all the states, goodness gracious, that are affected, Alabama, Arizona, Arkansas, California, Colorado, 
um, District of Columbia, Delaware, Florida, Georgia, Hawaii, Iowa, Idaho, Illinois, Indiana, Kansas, Kentucky, Louisiana, Maryland, Minnesota, Michigan, Missouri, um, Montana, um, North Carolina, North Dakota, Nebraska, New Jersey, New Mexico, Nevada, New York, Ohio, Oklahoma, Oregon, Philadelphia, South Carolina, South Dakota, Tennessee, Texas, Utah, Virginia, uh, Wisconsin, West Virginia, and Wyoming. That is a lot. And so here is the customer service number is 1-800-847-4608. And they are committed to um, high quality products and their safety and your safety is a very uh, big concern of theirs. So that's why um, it says they have not had any reports of the salmonella reported with people taking the products. So make sure you take that back. The customer service center number is right here. 1-800-847-5608. And let's look at the products photos here. This is the great value from Walmart. And then the HEP, which it's very possible the HEB could be also sold in Walmart stores also. All right. So our next one is a cookie dough cafe issues an allergy alert on chocolate chip chilled gourmet edible cookie dough bar due to possible peanuts in the product. This was uh, announced on the 26th um, through Juju Bakes doing business as the cookie dough cafe. And they're recalling 15 cases of the 1.6 ounce chocolate chip chilled gourmet edible cookie dough bars because they have contained peanuts. Uh, they were distributed in Illinois, Michigan, Pennsylvania, Indiana, Kentucky, uh, Wisconsin, Ohio, Minnesota, West Virginia via Lipara Foods and was distributed to select retail stores. The product comes in a 1.6 ounce white and turquoise package. Here's the lot number and the expiration. There has been no illnesses reported. Uh, allergen issue was found after an employee tasted peanut butter in the bar labeled chocolate chip. Wow. The employee sampling the item did not have a peanut allergy and did not experience reaction. Um, her observation led to the recall of lot number 19177. Subquent, um, so the in, uh, the invis, invis, I can't even talk. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> investigation indicated the problem was caused by temporary breakdown in the company's production packaging process. All right, so if you have any questions, you're welcome to call the company at 309 539 4585, extension 101. Central Standard Time at 10 a.m. to 5 a.m. Monday through Friday. And let's look at the um, product photos here. I've never seen these before. Chocolate chip cap dough. Chocolate chip cookie dough. I never saw those bars before. Huh. So there you have it. We didn't have that many, and I'm doing the best I can to keep up with it for you. And... Like I said, there was none for the 27th, 28th, and 29th, and today is the 29th. It's, it's a little after 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time as we're doing this live stream. And um, so I will check it again tonight if there is any more. I will make sure that I get up on here today again uh, to keep you all updated on the food recalls for the week and the day. And make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Leave comments below of any ideas that you would like me to do videos on. I will talk to you soon.